All right, Felicity and Jesse, uh, this whole park is for you because there's all these little benches everywhere. <laughs> view the, of the freeway. The view of Interstate 70. Oh. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for whoever was standing underneath that rock that just fell off that cliff. Holy crap. Dang. Found this Fremont State Park. Indian petroglyphs and Indian sites. So, you check it out. It's just right off the interstate here, Interstate 70. But it follows the interstate for several miles. And we found this place. It's called the Sharp Edges. Don't climb on horses. <laughs> a little interpretive site tells you about the area. From Jedediah Smith, I presume. I don't know. That's pretty cool sculpture. 1799 to 1831. Oh, Jedediah Strong Smith, yeah. Now we haven't figured out what to do here yet because we're open before the visitors, or we're here before the visitor center opens, so we're waiting to get a trail guide of what to do here. All right, we finally made it to a trailhead. See, there's a sign right there that says trail. So this one's called the Sheep Shelter Trail. And it's a short trail, I don't have to carry my backpack. Need to get rid of the freeway noise. All right, looks like just a gravel pathway up to this cliff up here. It looks like there's some bars across the little cave there. And I imagine that's probably where we're going to be going. Blanket. Hmm? Huh? Okay. Hey. Hey, check it out, a bench. You can sit and watch the cars go by. So I guess there's something you look at through that tube right there. And you just sit in the bench and take turns looking through the pipe. <laughs> what do you see? I'm going to stick the camera through the pipe. Uh, my eyesight's not the best. So. Maybe the camera will capture it. Okay, I can see it with my bare eyes up on the cliff on the other side of the canyon. And I'll try to point it out here. Yeah, right there, on that white-faced rock right there, there's some red uh, pictograph of a blanket on that cliff face up there. 16 feet wide and 4 feet high. 16 feet wide and 4 feet tall. That's why you can see it with your bare eye from here. And you can kind of see the red discoloration on the white rock. I'll zoom in better with the binoculars. Okay, so there's the Indian blanket up on the cliff looking at it through the binoculars. Super cool. Alright, we're working our way up to this little cave. Check out these cool rocks, how they form. That's pretty neat. All right, that's cool. They want you to be able to see on the ceiling. So they put a mirror so you can see on the ceiling up behind us. That's right, here. Awesome. Cool. Starting there and then working all the way around over there. And then right up on the wall. Oh yeah, up there. Oh wow. What? That is really cool. What? Can't you see him in the mirror? I can see it better with the camera. Oh yeah. Huh, that's cool. Alright, well that's pretty neat. So the petroglyphs are on the opposite side of this cliff overhang thing. And you have to look through it in the mirror or stick your still if you stick in to look back. It's pretty neat. 
I don't usually video inside an outhouse, but holy crap, this thing, you could eat off the floor, it's so clean in here. Not that I would. Yeah, those outhouse right there, that's legit. Legit clean. Maybe it's new, I don't know. But it... Anyway, so when we're here, looks like the fee is 10 bucks per day. We're going to buy a season pass for 80 bucks that covers all the parks in Utah. But we got to wait for the visitor center to open to do that, so we're kind of cheating. Um, but we asked the lady first, so she said it was okay. So here's a little pioneer cabin. We're going to go check it out. Yeah, there's a crime scene here. They got the caution tape up. Actually, the sign back there said that they they planted new grass, so I don't want you to be on it. Let's see inside this thing. Oh. Well, it's ready to move in. There's no furnishings. So it looks like they're getting ready to do something inside because they got yeah. this old stove in there that they're getting ready to maybe furnish this thing. So that's really cool. That old stove is awesome. Alright, this bench is for you, happy place camping. <laughs> You got a view with a sign. Oh, sweet. It tells you what else up on the cliff faces. Well, that's pretty sweet. And stop and take a look at this. All right, so this is one of those sites we just got to be here because come with binoculars because there's rock art all through this cliff up here. And it's all labeled on this interpretive sign behind us here, but. <clears throat> short of pulling binoculars out for each one and taking a picture. I don't know that we can capture it in the video. I can kind of see one on the dark wall right there above my finger. Uh, oh, and then right here there is a pictograph, which is the ones they paint on right there. That one's cool. And then... I hear beside this power pole there, there's another oh, petroglyph. Oh, and even up on the wall just above it there a little bit. Yeah, they're all through this whole cliff face. It's pretty neat. All right, we decided to cross the road and get a little closer. So you can see them. Right up in there, right there is another big one. A pictograph there and a petroglyph there. All in the same spot. Alright, well we had to come back to this spot because there's a rare pictoglyph, which is half painted, half carved. Those two red ones there, those are a pictoglyph. I guess they're super rare. So looking up on this cliff and it looks like there's a fossil coming out of the cliff face wall right there. Looks pretty cool. It's like some kind of a shell or something right there. What'd you find? See what we got up there. Oh, another petroglyph. That's pretty cool. All right, we came to this sign that says 100 Hands Cave. Half mile, we're gonna go check it out. Yeah, so this cave of a hundred hands trail crosses the bridge behind us there, which is the interstate 70. And it's on the other side of the freeway from the park road. There's another sign leading the way. All right, looks like we've made it. Sorry for the road noise, but we're next to the interstate. The cave of a hundred hands. Pretty neat. Get the camera in there. So cool. Apparently, somebody came in here and. Is that Beavis? No, that's Butthead. Right there, check him out. I am 
mean? That's it's vandalism, but but that looks like butthead. That's the name of the person who drew it too. The butthead that drew it. Yep. I know this is neat to see the prehistoric hands. Okay, but seriously, they have to put bars across these things to protect, you know, this prehistoric site from these vandals. Like the butthead that frickin' did the butthead thing. It's so stupid, people. Come on. Oh, it's hailing. Or oh. it's snowing. Oh, we're getting a little bit of weather. No. Yeah, it is. It's hailing. Oh, well, it's that puppy. Well, it's that pebble oh. snow. That's pretty cool. Winter's coming. All right, the random things we see. Little puffy, little puffy little seed pods of some sort. They look like from the Lorax. The Lorax? It's feathery, look. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it went from fuzzy bush to this is the uh, the gate that lets the deer back off the freeway into the be safe land. Pretty cool. So they don't they can't go through that way, but they can come back to this way. Okay, that was a short hike to the cave of a hundred hands. I didn't stop to count them, but I'm just gonna trust that it is. I think there's 31 sets. 31 sets, so that's not a hundred, but that's okay. Well, in case you got tired on that hike, there's another bench for you to look at your nice view. <laughs> well, it looks like the rain has finally set in. We're still going to see what we can see, though. All right, so we made it to the exhibit hall in the museum. They got all these displays everywhere. Pretty neat to check out and read. I'm not going to video all of it, but anyway, it's here, here to check out. That's interesting. I've never heard of that before. Pine gum salve. First aid. All right, so there's a scorpion in the cage, and I guess if you put yeah, he is. yeah, he's big. Put ultraviolet light or blue light on it, and they glow in the dark. What's that? We have them here, but ours are only like an inch or two. So it looks, judging by the his shape, I think he just ate oh. <laughs> in the last few days or so. That is cool. That's really neat. All right, so there's Map of Utah showing all the different tribes that we have in Utah. Uh, Shoshone, Goshutes, Utes, Paiutes, Southern Utes, and the Navajo. It shows how massive those birds are. Yeah, that is massive. Might not be alive, but it's pretty cool to see one up close like that. Okay, so you can buy some corn here and do just like they did back in the day. And you can grind your own corn on this deal here to make your flour, your corn flour. How cool is that? And here's a couple of familiar things from the Alone Show in uh, this little tool. This atlatl tool is used by one of the contestants. And then this little uh, pit house thing here, that was used by one of the contestants too. All right, the sun decided to come out and greet us again. And ironically, we're touring this uh, Fremont Indian State Park. And it just happens to be Indigenous People Month. So, well, that's awesome. That's awesome that we're checking out these sites during that celebratory month. <laughs> More benches. Okay. Check it out. All right, so there's a network of trails here we're going to check out real quick. They're all about a quarter mile each, but they are all zigzag through here. So we're going to go up and down, up and down, up and down a few times. But this is number seven. The... Yeah. Is the pit house, and you can go in it. <laughs> How cool is that? Right on. Uh oh. I'm gonna grab my, my flashlight. She's getting her flashlight ready. It's... Well, all right. Okay, well, here I go. Hopefully, there's no animals or something down here. I'm scared. There's a bear in there. I'm scared. I don't want to. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll go. Uh... 
I don't know what I'm going into. I can't... You're going into a room like the one we saw in the visitor center. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. She's all right. Her eyes adjusted. <laughs> They're not very tall. So we're going to go in and check it out. All right. Well, there we are inside the pit house. <laughs> There's plenty of light in here. I can the... pretty much stand up. Yeah, she can. So that I can't. means it's about five feet high. About, yeah, her head's almost through the hole. Anyway, it's a cool little pit house. It is really cool. Awesome. All right, there's a granary here. Let's see what's in there. Oh, it's like just a cave. Like to where they store. It's where they store their uh, food, food in there and stuff. I wonder how they keep the rodents out of it. They don't. Okay, we're going up this Canyon Overlook Trail. And I guess there's some petroglyphs up here we can check out. Mm -hmm. This is the Canyon Overlook. We were exploring sites along that road earlier. And then, then the cave thing over here of the Hundred Hands is over there somewhere. There's the parking area you cross down and go down. That's where we went under the freeway. We went under the freeway. And the cave of the Hundred Hands is back in those trees there somewhere. Yeah. All right, we've made our way up to this cliff area and there's some petroglyphs there and another one right there. I'm sure there's more if you look around. All right, we made it to this thing called the Meditation Spiral. If you look closely, you can see right here how the rocks are all spiraled around this little area. Christy's gonna go check it out. Let's try to put the camera up high so that you can see what she's doing. She's gonna do the spiral. All right, well, she meditated. That bird's eye view of the spiral looks pretty cool. You see it better from up here. <laughs> She's not meditating enough. So I'm thinking that a quarter mile seems pretty far when it's all uphill. Well, that's not fair. Where's one of those benches when you need one? <laughs> That's a pretty oh, good little climb. 364. Okay, and this is F365. What does that even mean? It means it's, I don't know, means that we don't know how to read a map. <laughs> so I'm going to go check it out and see if this is where that rock panel is. So. There's some more petroglyphs there and a meditation spiral right there on the wall. So it's looking like that trail's mismarked because this marker here says 364. That's the one we don't want. That's this one right here. That's that red dashed one on the map. That's where I thought we were, but yep. then I started second guessing it because there's that one. And the okay. sign down there says 365. What the heck? Come on, people. Get your signs right. But we did get to see that petroglyph right there. So, long story short. That up arrow right there should be pointing that way. Well, there it is. Oh, yeah, that's neat. That's a nice one. Yeah. We're going to stand next to it and get a picture, too. Yeah. Hey, there's a huge yeah. meditation spiral there. All right, we're going to do the... We decided there's two secrets. There's the upper secret and the lower secret. Based on the map right there, those two there, looks like they go the same place. We're going to take the upper so we have a better vantage point. See some more. Well, one thing's for certain. There's a maze of trails in here, and they're all marked, but they're all pointing the wrong which way and labeled. Boy, you need an interpreter just to figure out where you're going. Because like there's a lot of trails that are maybe marked. Oh, maybe it's right down here. I don't know. That's where it is. We're going to figure it out, though. We smart. That's where it is, Steve. Yeah, we're going down into the unknown. Insert creepy music here. Ooh. 
All right, looks like this interpretive trail by the visitor center is for sure accessible. It's paved. And yes, it is ADA accessible. Well, maybe we we're not too smart after all, but we did figure it out. So it just took us a little bit of time, but we found it. So it's this trail here, and it goes up through this little cliffy band here. Should be some pretty neat uh, petroglyphs up there. Okay, we were on that centennial whatever trail up above, and we couldn't get to this rock art right here. Just get to it from the lower trail, because it's right there. That's really neat. All right, we did the steep climb. That's a cool panel there. Okay, so we're starting to see them now. I can see some right there. A deer and some elk and some stuff. And then over here are some more right there. So we went up a little bit further. There's another one right there. There's some right here on that panel. I even see some way up there, right up there on that. That's cool. All right, I walked over here for a closer look. Those are nice. Is that the one you're looking for? It's in the picture? It is. Voila, we found it. Woohoo! And more benches. But this one has a pretty good view, because check this out. Yeah, because you can sit here and read a magazine. Check this out. Rock Art Magazine. These ones are big. Alright, well there's your interpretive guide on how to read the rock art and the age of the rock art and what it represents. So that's pretty cool. It's all through here. Alright, well there's some more right there, animals. A whole bunch of little squiggly somethings there and more animals and some hunters down here and there's a whole lot going on on this one some of them are pretty faint but oh there's even more over here there's a bunch right over there yeah all right here's the rock art newspaper rock viewpoint oh yeah so there's a bunch right up in here there's some more over here Tons. And they're all along that cliff band. There's some right up in there. I'll try to get zoomed in on the binoculars real quick. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, they're all through here. Well, all right, well, that was Fremont Indian State Park. Super cool park to learn about the uh, Native Americans here and all the rock art that they did. And it is super neat to see all the rock panels. It's cool because there's like a good mix of if you want to do a bunch of hiking to see some things or you can do as much as or as little yeah and there's some accessible trails too for wheelchair accessibility too so that's pretty neat mm -hmm. and like i said earlier this uh trail the trail benches are dedicated to happy place camping giving them a shout out so anyway mm -hmm. check out their channel they got a pretty cool uh uh channel and road trips that they do that are super fun to follow along anyway off to our next adventure TTFN. There's the is this one. I don't know what we're looking at, but looking at something. Huh.